Hello, my name is Sakari Lehtinen. Let's continue on getting started with Simple BIM by editing the appearances of the building element objects. There are many different point of views to the building designs and to the building information models. Nearly every stakeholder has its own different interest to the data. The BIM models have a huge amount of data in them and it's easy to lose the point if you are not careful. Using colors will make the models easier to read and understand by the receivers. OK, so let's have a quick look what you can do with the Appearance Editor. Visualizing property values is a very powerful way to communicate with the models and support decision making in construction projects. You can of course visualize the data which is already in the model, but here we have the energy analysis results merged from the EDI's energy analysis to the model. Go to the Properties tab, select an object class or group from the drop-down. This time I choose Spaces. Next, select one of the properties available for these objects. I'll choose Total Heat Gain. The objects are automatically colorized along with the values. If you want to highlight some specific values, select them from the table and change the color or transparency. Note that you can visualize basically any data type mesh values, text, numbers, and booleans. Another good starting point for managing appearances is the model palette, which is automatically created when the appearance editor is opened. The model palette can be found here in the palette tab. Select a row from the palette to highlight the related objects from the model. You can drag and drop these objects on top of other items in the list to change their appearances or you can change the color and transparency of the related objects by changing the color and transparency in a row. Finally, you can create new appearances to the palette and assign objects to them. Note that Undo allows you to experiment with this in a flexible way, or if you want to get to the starting point, simply click on the reset. The more advanced way of colorizing the model is to use the palettes and schemes. The idea of palettes and schemes is that you can use reusable rules to colorize your model. This can be applied to different versions of the model or used even in completely different projects. This allows you to normalize your beam color workflow or quickly visually check important things from any model. Here's an example of a text rule. See how green color is assigned to the value ext1 and here's a decimal number value. Objects which have value greater than 3000 for some property will get red color. Now to understand how this works, we need to go to the schemes tab. Here's a scheme that uses the text palette and the decimal palette. In the scheme, I choose which objects and which properties of those objects the palette rules are applied. For example, this scheme will colorize all the wall objects based on the rules we defined in the text palette and all the spaces based on the decimal rule. I click apply and the model is colorized accordingly. OK, that's the basic of Appearance Editor. Again, you could now export the model back to IFC with the new appearances. Just make sure that the colors for 3D objects export setting is on. Next, let's see how you can merge multiple models, edit them and their placements, and export the merge model back to IRC. Click on the model placement button and continue by watching the tutorial over there. See you in a bit.